Lee has made great efforts to help Morgan save the farm, but he's learnt that his uncle has finally accepted the estate's deal. Morgan is about to leave Bliny and move to Talgarth. That's upstairs. I'll be glad to be done here, Val. Not long now. You've done well. No sense to hold on to things for the sake. No. What are we going to do about Mam's room, Morgan? Only there's some good furniture in there, as far as I remember. That's for me. Later. Well, seems daft with the van outside and waiting. Kitchen clear. Surprise you what some people will buy. Lee, there's another load inside. There we go. It is all down there. <laughs> Careful lot, these farmers, eh? <laughs> Where are you moving to, then? Into Talgarth. Oh. Uh, my boss got your new address, has he? Morgan. He got it. Ah. So, probably going to the sale at Bergaveni Thursday week. Boss will be in touch. Thank you. Good luck. When are we eating? Makes you hungry, all this carrying. Well, come on, then. Are you, uh, locking up, Morgan? See to the barn doors, boy. Are you OK? Let's just get away. What about Morgan? He's fine.
tidy it, please. Yep. I'll do that. Could take Cap round the back to his shed. Right. Come on, Cap. Come on, boy. Well, it's convenient, I'll say that for it. Small, but you'll save on heating. No more spending half a day cutting wood. It's good as gas for central heating. I've got it at home. Oh, you'll be cosy enough here. Why don't you sit down and have a rest more? Better settle the dog. Well, where's Lee? Taking him round the back. And sit down. Cup of tea. I'll uh, get your bedroom right. Meal when everything's straight, eh? Thank you for coming. <laughs> of course I'd come. It's bound to be a bit strange for a day or two. Of course it is. We'll have a good talk about it all later on, eh? What they say to see me here, Val? Well, who's that now? Look, Mam was practical, whatever else she might have been. She'd see the sense. Look, you haven't let them down. They've let you down. Let us both down. Don't feel bad. We'll, we'll talk about it before I go, eh? Ginger up. See how the boy's doing. And I'll get that meal started. Why can't Cap live in the house? Well, it's not fair on him. No working dogs comfortable in house. Yeah, but he's retired too. Damn boy, we're not retired. There's always work for a good man to work in, dog. We'll get settled in here and then we'll see about it. Tom Griffiths, he'd always need help. He'd know a good shepherd when he see one. Well, Cap won't like it in here. Well, I'll put the window in for light as soon as I can. You gotta make the best. That's what you tell me when I first come here. Come to Blighty. <laughs> Hey, damn. Someone's been working. Oh, got to make a bit of an occasion. Celebration. Well, what about the celebration booze, then? I'll go and get some now. Shop's still open. Get and change first. You don't want to go about looking like that. It's all right for when you were up in the hills, but... Well, you're a man about town now. What will people think? Suit, then. Ain't got much else. Well, a suit's the right thing for a celebration anyway. I'll go with him to the shop. No. Stay here with me. He's got to get used to being in the town on his own. He won't have us after tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm not sure about that. Well, aren't you coming back with me on the train? Don't know. Oh, come and uh, talk to me while I get this meal started. It's not right, that's all. What's not right? Well, he doesn't say anything. About what? You know about what? About him being here in this place. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. He's lucky to have it for the rent. He's not right here. Has he said that? Well, that's what I'm telling you. He doesn't say anything. Well, Morgan was never one for talking very much. You know that. He's not right. He's putting on an act. Well, of course he is. 
It'll take time to settle. It won't help if either of us make a song and a dance about it. Keep your voice down. Thin walls. I don't want him hearing us. So when are you coming home, then? Quite like to go and see me dad. What's brought this on, then? Dunno. Just like to see him. Talk to him, you know. I know he's soft like you're soft. Well, maybe there's nothing wrong with being soft. When I think of the daft things Colin and me used to get up to, just because we felt we were hard. Oh, it's had its effect on you then, has it, this place? I expect. Well, he won't put out the flags, nor kill the fatted calf, not Ken. Got his address, have you? You can't just turn up there. You don't want me to hear his side of things, you and him. Why did Alan go? You're too young to understand. Try me. It's got nothing to do with you. It's got a lot to do with me. It was for him that I got sent down here. What are you talking about? Nothing to do with me. My life, my problem. He was a bully. Yeah, well, I could have told you that. I did. All right, then, my hang-up. Men who look to have a bit of power. Your dad was like that. Look, I say this. Alan and me, we... we just had enough of each other. We both had expectations, but... when it came down to it, his expectations weren't the same as mine. So can we, uh, leave it now, please? He won't be like Morgan, you know, Ken. I'll give you his address before I go. I just know Morgan feels bad. Really bad for letting his old man down and his mum. Morgan's a believer. He thinks they're up there together looking down on him. Look about your grandfather. He wasn't the way Morgan pretends. Neither was the old lady. Morgan knew them better than you. Salt of the earth, hearts of gold. Look, if you've got some idea that Blarney was some kind of paradise, you can forget it. They were narrow-minded, ignorant and cruel with it. Why do you think I got out as soon as I could? And when I'd gone, there was no escape for Morgan. I mean, who'd do the work? Who'd look after them in their old age? That's what they cared about. This is just you remembering what you want. When I came down to my father's funeral, you came with me, remember? I walked in on Morgan in the bathroom. He's still got the marks from the belt buckle. That's how much of an old gentleman our father was. Look, Lee, this is Morgan's chance. Maybe he's last to have a real life for himself. Look, I know you think anybody knocking on 50s halfway to the knacker's yard, but he's got years ahead. Maybe half his lifetime now he's not chained to that place up in the hills. Well, that's better. Beer, is it? Well, for a celebration. No, thank you very much. You can do better than that. A nice bottle of wine. I'll be away. Catch the shops. I'll come with you. Stretch the old legs. Don't stretch them anymore. They'll be up underneath his armpits. <laughs> it's my treat. Now, go on and don't be long. Get an apron on him, boy. i boss you something terrible. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> and don't be late back. It's all right, is this? Bit of a change, like. New beginning. Damn, aye. I've decided to stay on another day. I can look after myself. It's not for you, it's for me. <laughs> bit of independence from the apron, like. Just a bit. There are a few more terrifying sights in this world than a beaming incompetent clutching a piece of paper. 
What is it? Peace in our time. Much better. Can't read your writing. Well, you know what it's like juggling with phone and pen. Who is David Bishop, Esquire of Shrewsbury? He published one of those guides, quaint places to stay in Wales or some such. I picked up a copy in Hereford ages ago and wrote to him. He's in Brecon tomorrow and he can put me in the way of advice on the money side. I fixed a meeting. I didn't know you'd written. Sly. Never sly. Cautious. Shall we in and celebrate? We get many replies to our local advert. Will we get any? Our coconut girl isn't asking much. Oh, that's the boy settled. Well, what are you trying to do? Find this chair a place. It's not right without no fire. Well, that's the nice thing about central heating. It's the same wherever you are. Are you going to be all right for money? There'll be work for me. Well, don't rush into anything unless you have to. Rushing into things ain't nothing I've been accused of before. You know what I mean. What's this? You never got your rights from the old lady. <laughs> They'd look no good on me. No worth in it, I dare say. Something to remember by. Only she was fretted about you in her lifetime. She never forgave me, and she never forgot. Neither did he. It's over and done with. She'd want you to have it now. Have you ever forgiven me? We always got on well together, you and me. If we'd still been together and... when we'd grown up a bit, maybe we could have... I don't know. Stood up for ourselves. Oh, sounds bloody stupid saying it, even. I thought I'd left it all behind me, and then you phoned. Oh, I didn't mean to phone, Val. Truth, no. I didn't know where to turn. Morgan, the boy knows it's a hard time for you. Let him go easy, eh? He'll go free. And we'll stay in touch. What you expect? Miss your man, will you? Miss somebody to come home to. Yes and no. It's all mixed up. Like pig's guts. Like pig's guts. That's what the old gentleman used to say. Sleep well. Station. Got people to say goodbye to. See you in a day or two then? Yeah. I'll come by coach, it's cheaper. I'm okay for money, I didn't mean that. 
see you then. Nothing you want from Arbor? No, Char. Feed cup. You ready? We could go past the old place. Let's just get to the station, eh? Something? I'm going away tomorrow for a while. Say me goodbyes. Oh. Say them in the kitchen. You'll have to make do with me. The captain was in Brecon, moving in high finance. Different since I was here last. You haven't been here for some time. Only I thought you might have heard from Matthew. Should we have done? I imagine he's safely with his parents. He was merely a paying guest. Sit. We always thought he must be unstable. Not his fault. Things just came to an head. So, you're leaving us? For a bit. What about your uncle and his peculiar little farm? He's given it up, moved. Moved? Well, never think of farmers as moving. You always imagine them yoked eternally to the soil. Where has your uncle moved? Down to Telgarth. Oh, such an adventure. All the way to Telgarth. Hmm. Why have you always got to put people down? I beg your pardon. Well, everybody else is just like rubbish to you. No wonder you don't make friends. Did you come here to say goodbye? Goodbye. Matthew was all right. You just never treated him like he was your own son. He was not. Thought the point was you were supposed to. Sorry, Mrs Gregory, I didn't mean to get into all that. Bye, then. Listen, child. Sit down. We lived in a hut of corrugated iron for the first two years of our married life. And we worked damn hard trying to carve 6,000 acres out of the bush. Against rains in the wrong season, and then against tribal raids. We were looted. Twice. Servants wore my clothes and jewellery in the local village. Then the war turned dirty. With terrorists, mercenaries, landmines. The police had to train me to fire and service guns. When it became too difficult and dangerous for a woman to live anywhere remote, we had to leave our men and move to the nearest town, not knowing if we'd ever see them again. Our nearest neighbour was shot and his body dismembered. Harry sat alone for three nights, waiting his turn. And after all that, after 30 hard years, we lost all our land and most of our money. Don't rush your judgments. Think on. Isn't that what you people say up there? You'll get this place to be an hotel, then. It won't be the end of the world if we don't. Cry boy, cry boy. It just makes me weep when I try how I There's something good about living in the town. What, fish and chips? We'll save some time. I've done nothing but eating and drinking these last two days. 
You'll see the change when you comes down again. Won't get myself through that damn door. Are we going to manage this now? You and Mam would have something to say. Yeah, but well, she's not here. Oh, I'm bloody starving. Yeah, use a fork, fair play. Going posh, are we? <laughs> Good health. Miss you, boy. Yeah. No one to bring you tea in the morning, fetch and carry for you, do the washing. I must have been looking the other way at the time. I miss you, too. You could get to like it, then, living here. Why not? Don't know. You can always surprise me. You or ma'am give me a lecture. Things starting, not ending. No, oh, you got it too. Yeah. <laughs> well, damn, and she's right. I done my duty to the old lady and gentleman. I done my best for Blaney. Nothing to feel bad about. You'll miss Blaney, though. Of course, of course I will. Blaney were never ours. Never mind. Blaney belonged to the estate, like this house. I miss the quiet, though. A man can get too quiet in himself. When you come down, you brung people. I damn you did. Matthew and his sister. You were mates from the city. Val come down with her man. It was good for me. Didn't always like it, mind. But a bit of new life. You can always take Cap up to the hills when you want a bit of peace and quiet. Of course I can. Hey, and that's where I'll be working. I called in on Tom Griffiths, way back from Abba. I'm seeing him Monday morning, first thing. You're not just saying this. For why? To know. To please me. You're pleased then? Of course I'm bloody pleased. Well, that's two of us, boy. Tom, he wasn't much pleased when you come to Blaney in the winter. I must have been a right pain. What next for you, boy? Don't know. Might go and see me dad. Your mam's on her own now. You'll be company. Yeah. Morgan. Mm -hmm. Did your dad, the old gentleman, did he ever take a belt to you? I, I deserved it, I dare say. Your dad never raised his hand to you. Only mum said, what she say? Remember that storm we had? <laughs> they first go on the tractor. Sterling bloody moss. Who? <laughs> Get. I can't take it. You earned it. You were part of the sales at market. 
Morgan, I can't. Just put it in your damn pocket and shut up. I got a good price for the stock. Tom Duncan let me off dilapidations, feed, machinery. Do as I tell you just one damn time. Best get out on the road. Company. I'd give you me tips, only I know what you think of them. Don't I get waved away properly? yourself. See you. God bless you. Yeah, thanks. Best get on the bus. Have you been on holiday? Been working. I live here. Been working in the mountains most of the year. Oh, that's nice. That was my uncle in the Land Rover. Answer on the front. Come on a visit. I promised the boy. Still there, boy. I come prepared. Gift to the house, like. Boy, forget his wireless. Give it me. Company. Oh, that's good. You'll have more company now in the town. You're drinking to the future, Morgan. Right now? Tom Duncan brung me papers to sign. He brung that, too. For school kiddies down from London. Outdoor Pursuit Centre. He sells them the house. They pays for the rebuilding. Kitchens. Dry-in rooms. Space to sleep twelve. What for, say? Bit of walking. 
ponies. Studying bloody plants, he says. That's the future of lightning. A lot of pleasure for a lot of people, Morgan. This still you a chair? I'm worried for you about your sales. You damn near give away the feet to Tom Griffiths. Old tractor and machinery. You wouldn't get much from them. I see what you got for the beasts. See you through a year or two. That's about all. Likely you expected more. Why did you do it? Why did you walk out on me? You said you wouldn't let me down. We could hang on. Why, man? I did it for the best. Best? For bloody who? Blame me, is it? We was dead and done the morning you sent your girl up. Didn't have the courage to come your bloody self. Why, man? You bloody old fool. I've been good to you. Why did you give it up, Morgan? For the boy? I done it for the boy. I'll visit another time. When you are settled. Well, look around you. Settled, is it? You knowed her. You knowed my mum and dad. What to think to him, say? Hard working. They done for me. When you come to think in that, Morgan. I knowed it all the time. Your gift to the house. I'll keep it for a better time.
wonderful day. It has. Stopped off for some mountain air. Plenty of that. Oh, indeed there is. Day off? I don't farm Bliny no more. Oh, I didn't realize. Your boy came to say goodbye. Missed him, I'm afraid. Busy time. Changes in the air for us all. <laughs> he seems to have got a flea in his ear from Eileen, but I don't suppose that bothered him. Not a bad place, this, once the god-awful winter and so-called spring are over and done with. Not a bad place, no. No. Well, back to the grindstone. Can I give you a lift anywhere? No, thank you, sir. Out for a good long walk. Don't blame you. Oh, by the by, if you're any good with the flowers, gardens, that sort of thing, might be able to put some work in your way. Call round sometime. Goodbye, you, sir. Are you all right? No, not all right. Are you ill? My mom and my dad. Will I meet them? They're in the ground. Will I meet them? Are you talking about the life after? Well, that depends, I think, on what you mean by meat. Bible says I will. Well, a more modern interpretation might be that life after death is not so much a meeting in the flesh, like this meeting of ours. Maybe a less dramatic view might be that the dead have their immortality by living on in us. They live in me. In memory and influence. Honour thy father and thy mother. Love them. Isn't that assumed? Wrong, then. A sin to hate them. Well, parents are only human. We all find ourselves resenting. Not resenting. Hating. Hate is always wrong. Sin. Well, we need to be very careful about using that word, sin. Thank you, sir. Are you feeling well? If I've got hate in me, they passed it down. Like you said. Are you saying that you believe your parents hated you? Well, I'm sure you must be wrong. They were God-fearing people, sir, in harder times.